hey guys welcome back to Eileen vibe cooking in today's video I am going to show you guys how to make Haitian style coconut shrimp with mashed plantain instead of mashed potato yes we're making mashed plantain and it tastes amazing be sure you are subscribed if you're watching us for the first time comment down below any video request that you have in this video to 500 likes i know you guys saw this picture on instagram and you guys were going crazy over the coconut shrimp so today i am here to explain to you guys how i do it and without further ado guys let's get started i am starting with minced garlic milk chopped onion butter a green plantain we're using red onions as well tomato paste a piece lime juice the shrimp of course and here I have the island vibe seasoning with some salt and pepper and I have a green scotch bonnet pepper as well as some fresh parsley let's get started now I am going to start by boiling my plantain I am going to add a little bit of salt in the water and I am going to let the water comes to a boil before I add the plantain in there make sure you peel your plantain some people do it with the skin I do not like it just make sure you peel it I'm pretty sure you guys know how to do that now I am going to add that in there once my water comes to a boil and we're going to let that boil and move on to the next step I am going to add a little bit of oil on the frying pan and then I am going to add my shrimp about I don't know 15 to 20 shrimps I'm not sure <laughs> yeah to season my shrimp I am using the island vibe seasoning as well as some salt and pepper now if you're interested on ordering your seasoning the link will be down below the seasoning tastes amazing and it has no type of MSG so be sure you click the link order yours today now I am going to add the a piece in there. I do have a video if you're interested, the link will be down below as well. We're going to mix that together. Now make sure you're cooking this on medium low. Now I am going to cook the a piece for a few minutes because you want it to kind of fry it a little bit. I am going to keep mixing it and flip it over so the a piece can slightly fry a little bit. Next I am going in with tomato paste. I am not going to add too much of the tomato paste. Now you can add as much tomato paste as you want if you want a nice bright color. I don't really like the taste of tomato paste so I am going in with a little bit of the tomato paste. We're going to let that fry for a little bit and then we're going in with some water because you do not want to burn your seasoning. It's going to taste bitter, trust me. So now we want to add the water in there just a little bit to kind of let it simmer. Now I am going in with the coconut milk. I didn't mention it in the beginning, but it will be in the description box. I am going to add the little bit of the coconut milk, not too much, just a little bit because we, we don't want to overpower the shrimp. Now time to add the scotch bonnet as well as the parsley. We're going to let that simmer and we're going to add a little bit of water in there and let 
let it simmer like i said this temperature should be on low heat or medium low now time to add my onions i am going to add the onion in there and let it simmer shrimp do not take a long time to cook you guys so do not overcook the shrimp it will be very tough so do not over cook it it's gonna be hard and chewy if you overcook it now we're going to let this simmer I am going in with a little bit more tomato paste because I feel like I need a little bit more color. So I add a little bit more tomato paste and I am going to let it cook a little bit longer, maybe 10 minutes. And now this is my sauce a few minutes later. Looks nice. Alright, now time to start doing the plantain. I am going to add a little bit of oil to cook the um, onions. To cook the onions, I didn't want to use red onion in the plantain. I don't know, I'm kind of weird because I feel like it's going to give the plantain a weird color. So I am using... Um, the yellow onion but before I do I am going in with my minced garlic add that in there and let it fry for a little bit until it's nice and golden now do not let it burn just let it comes to a nice beautiful color and now I am going in with the yellow onion Now I am going to season the onions with the Island Vibe seasoning. There it is. The Island Vibe seasoning. I know I talk about it a lot. It's because it, it's just so amazing. The taste just tastes amazing. Now this is how the onion looks after a few minutes later. Nice and soft. We're going to put it on the side. Moving on to the plantain. By now my plantain is nice and soft. Make sure it's really soft and tender. We're going to mash it. Now if you do have a masher, you can use a masher for today's video. I, I do not want you one to be exact with you. I don't have a masher. So I am using this rolling pan thingy to mash it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's what I'm doing. But if you do have a potato masher, it will make your life 10 times easier. Now I am going in with the butter. The butter kind of melted just by sitting, um, but it's butter, you guys. I am going to add the butter in there as well as some milk, whole milk. Okay, just like you will do a regular mashed potato. And feel free to add any seasoning that you feel like you can add in there or you're comfortable with or you used before. So feel free to add whatever you want to add in there. Now this is a few minutes later. This is how it looks. It's getting there. I don't want ma my mash plantain to be too like smooth. I like some type of texture to it. So this is how I'm, I am going to leave it. Now I am going to plate the food. Basically it's ready you guys. It tastes amazing. It tastes really really good. I challenge you guys to try this. I know I made a Tom Tom video and i love tom tom so i decided to do this with plantain and it came out amazing i love it so i challenge you guys if you love plantain give it a try you will love it so i hope you guys enjoy the video this is all for my people from instagram who was going crazy about this picture so there it is I hope you guys enjoy it. Be sure to give the video a huge, huge thumbs up. Or order your Island Vibe seasoning because 
it's going out pretty fast like orders are coming in every single day for you guys so the link will be down below for um, the seasoning check it out you guys this is it and it tastes amazing try not to you know add too much garlic if you don't like if you're not a garlic person so yeah this is it i hope you guys enjoy it the instruction and the measurement will be down below check it out subscribe if you know like the video comment down below and i'll see you guys on my next one bye guys